Kenokuma is a Japanese architect who was born in Kanagawa, Japan in 1954. Currently, he is a professor of the Graduate School of Architecture in the University of Tokyo. In 1979, he has received his master's degree from the University of Tokyo. Later in 2008, Kenokuma became a certified architect with a PhD title from the University of Kyoto. Before he received his PhD, he has managed to establish special design studio Kengo Kuma and Associate in Tokyo and Kuma and Associate Europe in France. Throughout his career as an architect, he has used cards of outstanding awards, for example, the Architectural Institution of Japan Award for the nine stage in the forest, first place. A Award for Water Glass House in 1997. The International Architectural Award for the Best New Global Design. For the Chokara Plaza and Shelter in USA by 2007. In the year 2011, he also got awarded for the Minister of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology Art Encouragement Prize for Yoshihara Wooden Bridge Museum and a lot more, which are more to natural concept. Before 1990, Kengo Kuma works mainly on concrete, for example, M2 which is located in Tokyo. After the economy crashes, he began collaborating with a local craftsman in the countryside, which then inspired him to recover the Japanese tradition that focused more on natural lightings and natural materials. The materials preferred were shifted from concrete to wood, glass, bamboo and steel, which are easier to integrate with the nature. One of his famous projects that has the nature concept was the Water Glass House, which has received the Architectural Institute of Japan Award. In a project, water is the key component which has the effect of a structure floating on water. His architectural style has changed the design in harmony with nature, aiming to maintain the spirit of sustainability and tradition of the country. The Great Bamboo Wall is one of the greatest architectural design by Kengo Kuma in 2002 that has highly rose up his popularity and has greatly influenced the trend of architecture style. It is located close to the Great Wall of China in Beijing, surrounded by natural environment. The Great Bamboo Wall is built mostly by bamboo canes which is injected with steel roots to make sure they retain their excellency over time. Bamboo is the symbol of cultural and biological exchange between Japan and China which is the main motivation that prompted him to use The Great Bamboo Wall is a building that listens to the land around it and this is the source of beauty. It leaves the natural condition of the landscape instead of starting on flat land. The Great Bamboo Wall illustrates a stark difference from the Great Wall through its medium. The bamboos were chosen for its advantage compared to bricks and stone which allows both light and wind to pass through to create a meditative atmosphere. It's transient and dependent on the changes in the outside weather. The bamboo canes articulate the space, forming the skin of the building, which is also a symbol of cultural exchange between Japan and China. Next, let's move on to the side plan of the Great Bamboo Wall. The Great Bamboo Wall in the countryside near the Great Wall is breathtaking. It manages to express the perfect synthesis between architecture and the land. Although there is no sea view from it, it has an incredible natural view around the surrounding. The strong wind circulates around the inside and outside of the building which gives a cooling effect. The idea of integration and fusion of architecture and land, which Kuma says is perfectly embodied by the Great Wall. The Great Wall guides the plan for the Great Bamboo Wall. His intention was to apply the nature of the Great Wall to the egg of the island. This is why the site is titled Wall instead of House. Therefore, it peacefully coexists with the environment frame and complement view. Particularization is one of Kengo Kuma's theory on changing or arranging elements so that they form not just a singular mass, but also manage to express the material qualities by blending in the natural lighting, weather, and landscape from the surrounding.
Kangokuma uses the local materials and sensitive light concept to create a design where the space is able to blend into the nature. He achieved his ultimate goal by using the geometries of nature in the design concept, which is known as the erasing architecture. In his bamboo wall design, he uses partially transparency ideas as lights can pass through the gaps between each bamboo, bringing the natural and natural in both interior and exterior. This creates a space where occupants can experience a different feel between inside and outside of the building. Occupants could also connect themselves to the nature, hence creating a sense of relaxation. That's the end of our video presentation.